Yes, sir. Yes, we're back in action. For those who don't know, my name is Jimmy Lewis III, and we're back in action. It's been a long semester. Now we're starting the second semester of my first year. And I know y'all been missing me because I haven't been posting any content. So the first topic of discussion is time management. Um, to me, you know, some people have great time management skills, but it was kind of difficult to me at first, especially having a gap year. I haven't been in school for over a year and just hopping back into school was, you know, I had to get adjusted to things. I have this planner right here. Here's my planner and I have all my dates, excuse my handwriting, but this is how I keep organized. And I also have dates in Google Calendar. That's the backup calendar. And also, um, we use a Canvas system. I know most medical schools use something like Canvas or Moodle or an, an online platform where you know teachers are doing courses because of the coronavirus and the pandemic. But I also like Canvas because they have a feature where you can just import the class and webinar um, schedule to your phone. And that's very convenient. It sends me reminders before class starts, uh, when the next test and everything is going on. But like I said, time management was a very hard thing for me, especially being out of school for over a year. It took me a while to be to get organized and learn time management skills that will be useful in medical school. You know, obviously college, high school, you know, K through 12 schooling is way, way, way different than medical school. So now entering my second semester of medical school, I think I've learned what I need to do to improve on my time management. So, you know, I won't have those problems this semester. So the second topic of discussion is the topic is focus and believe in yourself. Let me say that again. Focus and believe in yourself. I say that because I ran into that problem this semester. Uh, especially, you know, different people coming from different backgrounds. It could get very competitive sometimes. But I learned to not worry about that. Worry about yourself. I had a couple mentors that are my mentors currently. And they told me, just, just worry about yourself. And that was the hardest thing for me in this past semester because I'll be worried about other people's grades. I'll be worried about other people's study, but we're all different people. We all have different brains and we all have different backgrounds. So my reason for coming to uh, podiatric medical school and coming to Miami is a whole different reason for somebody else. So one thing that I learned is to believe in myself and worry about myself only. Um, I know for, I know there was many times during this semester, especially when classes get difficult, for those who aren't or are trying to get into medical school, classes will get difficult and there'll be some times where you'll be stressed out. And instead of believing in myself sometimes, I would get discouraged, I would be stressed out. And if the, another reason that allowed me to push through this semester was my support system. My family, my sons, my girlfriend, my lawn brothers, etc. That support system is essential in order to be successful in medical school as well. That allowed me to push, that allowed me to believe in myself and focus. So like I said, focus and believe in yourself and you'll be successful. The third topic that I wanna talk about is practice. Like they say, practice makes perfection. It really does. Practice, practice, practice. Um, another thing that I've used, no, a couple things that I've used in, uh, so far entering my uh, second semester of medical school that I will continue to use is making Anki flashcards and also using Quizlet flashcards. Anki has also released a new feature where you can transport those Quizlet decks to Anki. I'm gonna currently show you how it works. Um, I'm gonna go to my screen recording and show you what I do when I'm studying. I study for two classes at a time when I'm doing flashcards. So right now you're gonna see my anatomy deck for lower extremity uh, anatomy. 
for from my first lecture it covered the um it covered the embryology and it was the introduction so i made a deck and i'm just going over the flashcards to you know uh, learn the information and conceptualize it so like i said practice 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 the second screen that i have on here it talks about biochemistry biochemistry so uh, i'm currently going over the first and second lectures we just started the second second week of our second semester of medical school and you know so we only have like two to three lectures so far so right now i'm going over my lectures from the first week so i can continue to learn practice 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 so i can know it by the time of the test so I know in the start of the first semester of medical school, I was trying to find different study groups and you know find different friends where that I could study with that we you know we had similar uh, study skills and you know tactics that would help us you know be successful. I finally realized that self studying is key at first for the initial studying, so you can learn it. When I go to study sessions, um, I do the self studying first, read the books. Um, go on my iPad and take notes and look at the lectures, captures from my professors. And then once I get a great understanding, then I'll ask, you know, my study group to go over the material because you need to have different perspectives because everything that you think you're knowing, someone may know something better. So um, I also believe in uh, group studying so I could get different views and learn different things that I might just not be understanding. Another reason why I think group studying is important is because the, of the teach back method. Teach back method allows you to learn the material faster, in my opinion, because first, because you don't want to be embarrassed in front of your peers if you don't know something. And secondly, because it allows you to learn the material faster because you don't want to get embarrassed for not knowing something. So that's another reason why I like group studying because it allows me to learn something that I might not have known before going to that group study session. So the last topic of discussion is how to deal with stress. Man, man, oh man. That's an interesting topic because for those who are in medical school right now, or those who are in any type of professional program right now, it can get very stressful. So ways that I try to deal and depress my stress is, first of all, the number one thing is I try to play video games. Uh, I try to play uh, one hour of video games every other day. I've grown up playing video games and going to medical school isn't going to uh, stop one of my hobbies. This allows me to play games such as Madden, 2K, etc. with some of my friends back at home. I'm able to have laughs and, you know, stay close with my friends. I try to work out, you know, when I'm pushing iron, it allows me to, you know, um, get rid of all the stress from my studies. Um, I try to go twice a week. Well, I know last, last semester I did. Um, you know, it's been very difficult with classes, but secondly, the coronavirus too. My my apartment gym's been closed, but I know last semester on Tuesdays and Thursdays, the same days we had Cadaver Lab, I would try to go to uh, the campus and work out at the on-campus gym. The third thing that helped me get rid of stress is going back and contacting my support system. I talked to my mom and dad, my girlfriend, my sons, and my brothers and just friends um, at least every day or every other day because like I said earlier the su support system allows you to get through this it gets very difficult it's sometimes throughout each semester especially when there's blocks long blocks of tests on certain weeks two to three tests per week um, and that support system contacting them could put a smile on your face uplift your heart and you know that, that's that's one another thing that's the biggest stress reliever in my opinion so like i said there was some good and there was some bad in the first semester but look at this we moving on right to the second semester i'm on in the second semester week number two of the second semester 
at Barry University School of Podiatric Medicine. And I'm taking four classes this semester. We got neuroanatomy, we got lower extremities anatomy, we got biochemistry two with nutrition, and we got physiology. My classes are going pretty good so far. I'm using some of the great tactics that I learned in the first, first semester of medical school, and I'm applying those good strategies to start off strong this semester. And one last thing. It's grind mode. It's grind mode. I appreciate everyone for listening to my video. Uh, please like, follow on all my platforms. It's J. Lewis Podiatry on Instagram, J underscore uh, Lewis Podiatry on Twitter. Uh, follow the uh, the YouTube channel and just keep up with my journey. Thank you very much and have a great day.